welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Megan here. Um, sorry for the bad lighting. It is very early in the morning and my son is watching TV. So if you see the, uh, the different colors of the light, that is why. But um, today we are going to do week two of my weekly spending tracker for December. Um, I drew a line here on my daily spending tracker so you could kind of see the cutoff between weeks. So we're going to focus on the bottom chunk here of my budget sheet, um, as well as these budget sheets are from my Etsy shop. It's called Budget Queen Shop, so go check it out if you're interested. Um, every page that says Budget Queen at the bottom are mine. So yeah, let's get into it. I've already done all the calculations for the numbers, just so it goes a little bit faster in this video. Um, but let's go along here, starting with um, my first category, which is groceries. These are all my expenses, just so you know. So we have groceries, gas, eating out, um, my husband's spending, my spending, kids, household, and other. So um, yeah, the first one is groceries. I'll try to zoom in just a little bit here. Sorry, it's like complete opposite. So, um, so groceries here for $20.50. Groceries here for $175.65. Groceries here for $71.22. And groceries here for $93.74. Um, we are spending a little bit more on groceries as I'm on um, a very clean eating diet. And groceries are expensive where I am from. So that total is $361.11. Next category is gas. And as you can see here, there are no gas expenses. So we're just going to put zero here. We're gonna do this spent um, column first and then we'll do the, the category balance next. So eating out, you can see that we didn't eat out this week. So that is good. We'll put zero here. My husband's spending um, was also zero, you can see. My spending right here is $13.60. I got the Budget Moms um, saving um, plan for 2020. Um, it is a $10 plan, but since I am Canadian, it went to $13.16. Um, so I'm very excited to start her program and start um, saving. So that is awesome. My husband was really excited about it too. So that is that. Kids, you can see that there is one expense here for $45. I bought my son swimming lessons. I really um, agree with getting swimming lessons and um, like skating and all those um, extracurricular activities. Um, my son is two and a half and he has done um, two swimming lessons before. So this is um, a really awesome one going into the next level that he is in. So household, we have nothing. And other, we had um, lottery here and then a picture kit. I have this uh, photo printer that goes off of my phone and I needed a new uh, picture kit for it. So that is that. It prints off 108 photos for $58 kind of expensive, but I can do it in the comfort of my own home um, instead of spending a ton of time at the Photoshop in town. So sometimes when it's just like pictures for ourselves, I'll print it off on that photo printer. So we have them for ourselves. So yeah. So now we're going to um, zoom in here. And now I'm going to total this section. It is $487.94. So pretty expensive. A lot of that was the groceries, of course, but um, yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> so for the category balance, what we do is take this ending amount and subtract the spent amount. And for groceries, that would be $236.12 remaining. We had $50, we spent $0 for gas, so we still have $50. We overspent last week in eating out and we didn't spend anything this week, so we are still negative $9.41. 
My husband had $12.80 in, in his spending, so he still has $12.80. That looks like a seven, so I'll just do that. Oops. I spent $13.60 and I had zero remaining, so we're just going to put that in brackets. This is how I know that we are over in that category. We spent $45 and we had 50 remaining, so we have $5 remaining for the next two weeks. We spent um, zero dollars, but we had 30 in household, so we still have 30. And we had 100, we spent 58.23, so we have 31.77. So what I do I, is I add up all of these totals and the remaining that I have um, for the next two weeks is $342, oh, sorry. $342.68, which is not a lot, so I'm going to try my best to um, not overspend, but this week is, or these next couple weeks are to do with a lot of Christmas, so I think we might go over, um, if we were to go over, it would be in groceries, that's about it. Um, we don't really overspend in any other categories um, except for groceries, so that is our downfall. Um, so yes, again, sorry guys about the bad lighting. I just wanted to get this video up for you guys. It's already Friday and I do these videos on Thursday for you guys. I just couldn't film yesterday, so sorry that that lighting is off. Um, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let you walk in. Let you